Laparoscopic retrograde technique with intracorporeal tie in difficult appendectomy. A 79 years old lady presents to the emergency department complaining of abdominal pain, fever and vomiting over the last 24 hours. White cell count is 7 and CRP 170. A CE CT scan of the abdomen is performed and shows acute appendicitis with a fecalis associated with pelvic and periappendicular fluid. According to these findings, indication to surgical exploration was given. In gangrenous appendicitis, distal structures are difficult to identify and tissues are extremely fragile. In this setting, performing a retrograde appendectomy can be the safest option. The usual anterograde mesoappendix dissection by traction on the appendix most probably leads to amputation. To avoid this, if the base is viable, it is best to first dissect the avascular plane between the appendicular base and the mesoappendix. Pass it with the right angle forceps or a Maryland dissector and tie a braided suture with a bido intracorporeal knot. After securing the base of the appendix, the rest can be safely mobilized. And mesa appendix dissected both by bipolar or monopolar cautery in a retrograde manner. Laparoscopic appendectomy is widely fused as the gold standard technique in case of appendicitis and commonly the first minimal invasive procedure learned by young surgeons. The standard technique provides the traction of the appendix and dissection of the mesoappendix, either along the viscera from the tip to the base or perpendicular to the viscera down to the base. However, this easy technique cannot be performed in all cases. After completing the mesoappendix dissection, an inner loop can then be placed to further secure the base. Appendectomy is therefore completed by cold scissors. Specimen is retrieved in an endo bag, abdomen washed out and surgical field carefully checked for any bleeding, iatrogenic injuries or uncleared collections. After mild postoperative ILUS managed conservatively, the patient was discharged on POD5. The final histology report showed acute appendicitis associated with a PT3 goblet cell carcinoid. A 54 years old lady presents to the emergency department complaining of abdominal pain and fever over the last 24 hours. White cell count are 10 and CRP 24. A contrast enhanced CT scan of the abdomen is performed and shows acute appendicitis with two fecalith and no free fluid. According to these findings, indication to surgical exploration was given. In retrocecal subserous appendicitis, inflammation makes planes extremely unclear, with high risk of injuries to the cecal wall, right ureter or even the right iliac vessels. A thick and rigid inflammatory mass is felt in the retrocecal area. Usually, the body and tip of the appendix are not recognizable. 
and the base is the only available landmark. Again, in this setting, performing a retrograde appendectomy can be the safest option. After careful dissection of the appendicular base, with a right angle forceps or a Maryland dissector, A braided tie is passed. And tied with a bider knot. Once the base is secured, the appendix can be sharply divided by cold scissors. Any minor bleeding can be controlled by bipolar cautery. A further tie or an endo loop can be placed for more safety. Appendectomy can now be completed in a retrograde manner. Safely tractioning on the distal stump and using it as a guide down to the tip. Appendectomy is completed by both blunt dissection and bipolar cautery. In this way, there are no risks of damaging the surrounding structures. Gangrenous, perforated or retrocecal subserous appendicitis can be quite challenging due to the weakness of tissues and unclear surgical planes. In this setting, performing a retrograde appendectomy can be the safest option. This can be achieved either by placing a linear surgical endostapler or a tie to the appendix base. The endostapler technique is safe, fast, easy and appropriate in case of a sickle pole resection is needed. However, it is considerably expensive if compared to the intracorporeal tie which, however, requires more technical skills. In addition, bowel obstruction as a result of the adhesions caused by staple lines has been described. In case of viable appendicular base, no clinical advantages have been demonstrated in the use of endostapler over ties for stump closure in both adults and children. Although it requires some technical skills, Retrograde appendectomy with intracorporeal tie is safe, feasible, cost-effective and extremely useful in selected cases of difficult appendicitis. It should be part of the armamentarium of any general surgeon. Postoperative recovery was uneventful and patient was discharged on POD2. Histology report confirmed acute appendicitis.